Hello, Aquarius. It's time. Oops, that was from the last read. Capricorn had a really good one, surprising. But it's time for your beginning of November read for this current year, Aquarius. Yes. Yes, indeed. My phone has been playing music for like hours straight. Ugh. Anyway, Aquarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Well, no, not Jupiter. My bad. Sorry. Jupiter's not involved in these readings. My bad. Um, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Your card. Triumph of Lies. Mmm. Let's see. That's the very first card, too. Oof. Excuse me. Triumph of Lies. The moon phase is the waxing Gibson. The stage is bargaining. Much like the stage is a death. Yes. If something hurts me, I change myself so it can stop. Visual seed. Headless mannequins crowd against each other under a cold neon light. They are dressed in luxury clothes and pricey accessories. Among them, one has a crowned skull floating where her face was supposed to be. Not all that glitters is gold. Emptiness is full when there is nothing under the dress. The triumph of oh, going dark, the triumph of lies is about appearance. And appearance is always so important in the world. Day by day, it seems more important. Can that be a lie too? We seek to be what the world outside desires, not much necessarily society at large. Our family or partners or friends place judgments on what we should be. In the dress we choose, we carve a mask of expectations, behaviors, and values to live by. It offers stability to ourselves and to our relations. As being honest and true to ourselves can be too tiring, too easy to make us hurt. Unfortunately, the relationship with our mask is not as straightforward as it feels. Inside the mask, envy grows, vanity takes root, lack of self-confidence becomes a habit. It gnaws at us and hurts us from the inside. It feels like it is ourselves, but it's not really authentic. It's just a lie we have made habit to believe in. Okay. When our lives became a gilded cage and our dress became a burden, we should remember that we're born naked. Okay. Aquarius, that's yours. Oh my god. I hate being sick because anything that's super fucking cold freezes the shit out of me. I hate it. Mm. I'm almost done and then I will make food. Okay. So, Aquarius, your energy. Someone played some fuck fuck games and fucked it up. Mm. Did not work in their favor. The situation, now someone's got anxiety. Like, just, just look at it. Like, look at the kitty. When you look at it, look, it's been dead. It hasn't just been dead, it's been sitting there dead for a while. Like, it looks like it got caught in, like, some wind shit, too. Like a wind tunnel or something. Just being the flappy of its mouth, like, blah, 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 and just got stuck that way before it died, and then someone threw it on the bed. That was a fucked up way of looking at it. Oh my god. Okay. Wants and wishes. Ace of swords in reverse. Someone's holding back the truth. And I think that's what you want. We do have the triumph of lies, Aquarius. The obstacle and challenge is the knight of cups. So you probably have to, like, offer something. Why don't you cross watches? Switch where you need to, because, you know, it happens. Okay? Okay. Fears and rejections, the queen of wands reverse with her bitchy attitude and how this shit starts, how it'll end, an opportunity that was missed and now someone wishes they didn't miss that opportunity. That's a first. I guess someone has to pray to God about some shit or whoever you the fuck you pray for. Maybe you don't even pray at all. Maybe you just talk to your higher self. I don't know. But someone feels like they got to reach out somewhere and be like, please let this shit be over or something like that. Or please let there still be like ho-ho cakes at the fucking like buckwheat festival because that shit's delicious. Oh my God. I could totally go for a funnel cake right now. Delicious sugary powderiness. Okay. Aquarius. Hmm. Someone played the, some fuckball games and then they won uh, dumbass prizes, right? 
an obstacle or and challenge is like offering your cup to someone you're afraid of a queen of wands who's in a bitch mood attitude trying to start shit with you probably trying to aggravate you probably gets on your nerves probably says atrocious shit probably screams her head off whenever she gets emotional like why do you always do that to me like why can't you just get it right the first time you know mind you i'm sad rising so like <laughs> once i get started oh boy you know Hmm, you got three on the first one. I'll give you to you. Yeah, these games, someone was sitting there waiting, not sure whether or not these pentacles were going to grow, and instead they just started rotting off the thing before they uh, got ripe, you know? And so they sat there waiting for fucking nothing, and now they're just straight up pissed. That could be you, Aquarius. It's just like, I waited for all this goddamn time, and nothing. Nothing at all. Figures, you know? Now you're all mad, and you just wanted to hurt anybody. Like, you'll throw something. Like, you're not as dangerous as a Gemini when it comes to putting up, but, like, you will put up. Like, you'll join a fight if it means you get a chance to beat someone's ass. Like, it, like that's just your mentality. You will. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Someone's got anxiety in the situation. Um, King of Wands. Counterparts of the Queen of Wands, but it definitely could be the same person. <coughs> he wants to sit on his throne, look all awesome. <coughs> <coughs> Wants to be in control of shit. Okay. Acts like, you know, he's a good boy. However, when it comes to moving forward, there's a lot of lack of clarity. Or, you know, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies, you know? Like, they're totally going for that. It's like they're charging the head, be like, baby, I got a new job. So why are you driving your dad's car? He let me borrow it. For how long? Oh, a couple days. A couple days. Does he know that you took the car? Yeah. No, he don't. Do no, he doesn't. That's what I thought, you know? Like, it, it, it's like, they ride up, and you can immediately pick up they're full of shit. It just bothers you instinctively that they're full of shit. They act like they're this old man giving you pets because you deserve it, and it's like, motherfucker, I don't need your goddamn pets. I want the truth, which is what you're hoping for, because this person keeps holding it back. You know, you've been in this relationship for quite a while, you know, and you feel like you're justified in asking for that shit for sure, Aquarius. For rizzle, my nizzle. However, the obstacle and challenge is trying to offer a cup up after this a, a simple relationship has been put in the dark and there's a jeopardy of actually being separated. I feel like neither of you guys really know what the fuck is happening between you two. You know, someone who's demanding, someone who's expecting shit, probably you is um, turning their back to this entire scenario. Or this could actually be a third party that you aren't aware of. You might think that they have broken up and in reality, she's just got her back turned so you don't see her face because you're probably gonna punch her when you see her. Not because you're mad you slept with her man, just because of the fact that, you know, like she hadn't said I'm sorry yet for it. That's it. Like, you don't even care that she slept with your man. You just wanna fucking hit her for the fact that she did it. You know, you could have at least asked me, bitch. You know, like one of those things. Like I literally own. Well, no, that's terrible. I shouldn't say that. Like, but if you're married, it'd be like, yeah, this is mine. You know, I just want to hit you for touching something that was mine because now I can't touch it anymore. I don't know where you've been. Okay, so let's see. Fears and rejections with this Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person is impatient, in bitch mode, doing whatever, but they're out in the cold. Just sitting there like Tiny Tim, being like, God bless us, everyone, but he's like a 30-something-year-old fucking man, you know, trying to come out of all the damage he's been on since he's been fucking homeless. Um, he started off as a young man in the streets, and now he's just like a hermit in the fucking woods. It's like, I actually found some dogs today. And it's like, those are wild boars, Bill. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over shit. I think I might <coughs> finally broke my fever after a fucking year. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm feeling accomplished. I want to thank my parents for giving me strong enough genes to put up with the illnesses of the damn world. Um, I also want to thank my former job for not giving me the flu shot like they should have. But that's my own fault. Anyway. How this shit starts, how it'll end. There's a missed opportunity here that someone's now regretting that they missed. It's like they did it on purpose, and now they're just like, oh, maybe that was a bad idea, you know. Yeah, they got their hand bit off by Fenrir. Like, their name is Tyr. They're bit off more than they can chew. 
But they aren't trying to look and see what the results are. Like... What? Okay, so... This person doesn't even want to know what the fuck they did. That's It's like having a fucking dog. It's just like, did you do this? And then they roll their eyes away from you. Or if the one that didn't do it did, is pointing it out, they'll look over at the other one. It's like a guilty ass dog. They know what the fuck they did. They're just being like, oh, I don't know, man. Like, please don't be mad at me. You know, there are actually people who say that, like, you shouldn't be, um... So, like, strict on your dog or whatever. But at the same time, I saw a video of a mother dog, like, barking violently at her fucking puppies to teach them how to calm the fuck down. So I don't want to hear that shit. Because if the mom knows that she's got to, like, train her puppies, we're able to train our animals. That's the whole point of having them. You just can't be having them all willy-nilly. But it's like this person just doesn't want to learn. They don't want to change. They don't want to fix themselves. They don't want to actually come and see the results of the mess they made after they dug themselves into the garbage and then tried to bring the cat over to say that that fucker did it, you know? With this energy, this yeah, that, it could be a fire sign you're dealing with, maybe. But they just walk straight away from you. Not a word. Not a um, goodbye. They just walk, and you're just standing there like, the fuck? Are you serious? And for you, that's like, done. Yeah, you're just done. Could also be Gemini. But you're just done. Like, this person isn't giving you anything. They always expect you to give them Did stuff. You hear that, second that pounding? It sounded like gunshots. Is that what that was? It sounded like gunshots. Because I heard that in here, and I was like, what? Three of them. Like, I thought it was you with the car. Yeah, I thought that was you with the car. Like, something happened. No, it sounded like somewhere close. It sounded like gunshots. Mmm. That's terrifying. Hopefully someone's hunting all the way on the other side of the hill. Uh, let's see. The situation, it's like no matter what they tell you, they're just talking to themselves and that's not helping anything. Which really doesn't help them out because now they're just like, they can't get rid of the emotions. It's like they want to express themselves. But they're incapable of doing that because they keep trying to drain their cup and it's not working. You know? Ugh. Okay. Wants and wishes, Aquarius. I'd say give it a minute before going back out if you want to. Fears and rejections. Someone's got to look at this cup and realize this is nonsense. This is insane. And if you don't look at it like it's nonsense, Aquarius and Crosswatcher, of course, um, you're going to fuck yourself up a little bit getting caught up in this shit. If you let your emotions get to you, if you don't recognize it's just a fish in the cup, you're just going to keep walking into possibly some scenario that, like, someone's doing some sneaky shit, and then you got to deal with it. It's like you got to accept somebody for, like, the idiot they are. And the fact that, like, I don't know, like... Mm. Oh, I did, like, the obstacle and challenges. What the hell? Wants and wishes. Let's see. I don't know, man. I'm like, dude, somebody was shooting us. I don't know if I want to be out there with whatever they're shooting at. Right. It looks like somebody's part of a bear out there. Okay, so, like... Hmm... This person wants to act like they're saving you when in reality they know you're they're they're setting you up for whatever and all sorts of other shit Ugh. just to make you come back home he's just like it's okay i'm saving you daddy's here and you're just like you're not my fucking dad you fucking weirdo fears and rejections I feel like this person's just gonna like try to figure out whatever. You know? Like. Mm, like, they'll take any hostile action to change things, I feel like. Either that or you'll shoot them to change them from coming back so that way you have a good ass fucking time. And the catalyst, as well as the final result. 
Six of Wands reverse. They thought they were going to crown a victory with you, and nope. And that's because they still won't tell the truth, Aquarius. Sorry, I'm like freezing. But anyway, yeah, Aquarius, it feels like this person, like, they want you, but they don't seem to understand what honesty is. So, you know, that's an objective you're probably going to have to deal with at some point. I don't know. But that's your reading, Aquarius. If you like this shit, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course. But I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I love your guys' faces. I will see you later. Bye-bye.